take a look at this uh, overhead applied problem. Carmen Corporation applies manufacturing overhead to jobs on the basis of machine hours. Now there's not supposed to be a T there. Carmen estimated 50,000 machine hours and 20,000 of manufacturing overhead cost for the year. During the year, Carmen incurred 52,400 machine hours and $22,600 of manufacturing overhead. What was Carmen's underapplied or overapplied overhead for the year? Okay, well I worked this ahead of time to save some time, so let me just bring it to light. Okay, so what we're going to do is list some data that we know. The predetermined overhead was $20,000. Then we want to determine the predetermined activity base. Uh, that should be a B. Okay, and by the way, I use the term overhead spending to refer to total overhead dollars. Sometimes that's how it's used. Um, and that was 50000 So if we determine the overhead rate, all we have to do is take the 20000 divided by the 50000 Okay, there's our $0.50, cents, or excuse me, $0.40 uh, cents per machine hour. Okay bring that to light per machine hour. Okay, then we would jot in the actual machine hours incurred and they told us that was 52,400 and now we've got to figure out how to apply overhead. Well, what do we do? Let me hit my F2 here. You multiply the value in C10, the machine hour rate, times the actual overhead. Okay, so you can see the formula there or up here. So 40 cents times 52,400 gets you 20,960. Okay, now the actual overhead incurred was 22,600 given right there. So now all we have to do is compare the overhead applied, the 20,960 right there, versus the actual overhead of 22,600. So we're actually under applied, and we're under applied by the difference. So just compare the value in C13 to C14. We are underplied by 1640. Now probably I don't need to show that as a negative um, because we label it as underapplied. So let me uh, uh, let me go the opposite way here. I'll just t say I'll take C14 minus C13 just so it reports as a positive number but you need to understand that the overhead applied was less than the actual, that puts us into an underplied position. And uh, that's how we solve this one.